Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Solito, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a campaign in your Facebook ad manager that's called the Reach Campaign. So that's the objective that you'll be choosing. And I want to talk to you today about when you should use it, why you should use it, and um, really kind of demonstrate how effective this campaign can be if used correctly. So I have a few little notes here. So if you see me looking down, that's exactly what I'm doing. But there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. So we're going to talk about the reach objective. This is just simply a type of ad that you can create. There are conversion ads, there's traffic ads, there's engagement ads, there's event ads. There's all different kinds of objectives that you can actually choose. And we're going to go over that in a second. But the reach objective ad is really good when you want to target smaller audiences and you want to reach as many people in your audience as possible and keep your cost per impressions really low. So in this example, the way that we like to use the reach campaign is when we're actually going out there and we're targeting a warm audience or a hot audience, which means these are people that know who we are in our business. So let's just say we have a custom audience that's created around all the people that have engaged with our fan page. This is a warm audience. Or maybe we've created a custom audience based around all the people that have visited our website. That is a warm audience because they're familiar with us. Uh, maybe people who have interacted with our Instagram account in the last three days. That's a really hot audience. So this is really good when you want to reach all of the people because when you choose a traffic ad objective or a conversion ad, ad objective, what happens is, is Facebook shows that ad in buckets. All right, so you could have a million people in your audience that you're targeting with that ad, but they're actually targeting in the buckets of different people. But with a reach objective ad that I'm going to show you how to create, um, you're going to be able to reach as many people that are in that audience. Um, the other thing that we're going to talk about is um, the benefits. I mean, one of the benefits of creating a reach objective is that you can actually reduce the impact of ad fatigue meaning um, you could set that frequency cap at the ad set level. So X amount of people or you know, only see that ad so many times per day. So that's what's really great about a reach objective ad. And also a lot of you might be asking, you know, what's the right amount of budget you should set up? So a good rule of thumb is, is $10 for every thousand people. So you could do a reach objective ad, even if you only have a thousand dollars, I mean, not a thousand dollars, but a thousand people that you're targeting. Um, but just a good rule of thumb is if you've got, you know, 2,000 people you're targeting, you want to put $20 a day into that. Um, and then also, as I mentioned earlier, that frequency capping, this basically is allowing you to set the number of days that have to pass before someone sees your ad again, as well as the number of impressions that you want to serve. So we're going to dive into that. So let's just be very clear about that. This is a totally different type of objective ad that we then like the traffic ad or the conversion ad. So let's go ahead and go in there and let me show you that. So I'm going to click create so you know exactly where to find that. And I'm just going to call this my reach example ad. And then the bidding type is the auction. And then here is where we're going to choose the awareness. These are all the different objectives and the types of ads that you can create. So we're going to choose reach right here. And then from there, um, let's just go in here and name this ad set, reach example. And then we've chosen the fan page. And then we're going to go reach example. This will be the name of our ad. And again, you're going to want to name these uh, what's best for you and your business. I'm just using this title of the ad set, the campaign, and the ad as an example for this video. So once you save that to draft, um, it should open up another screen and we may have to actually go in and edit the campaign. But there are a few things that I want to show you how to do. Now, if you've never set up any Facebook ads, um, you know, we have lots of training on that. You can also search my YouTube channel because I've got trainings in there also. But this is just going to be a tutorial on some of the things that you need to look for when you create these reach ads. So everything's set up here. Um, we're going to jump over to the left here and go at the ad set level. This is the campaign level. So let's go to the ad set. And this is where you're just going to make sure everything's set up correctly. You've got your page attached to it. And then here's the daily budget. So let's just say um, we're going to actually skip over this and, and decide that daily budget in a second. But let's just come over here. And what I'm going to do is I would come in here and actually choose, um, which I don't have them right here, but I could create a new custom audience. 
And I could come in here and go to, let's say, Facebook page, and I want to target everybody who's engaged in my Facebook page in the last 30 days. So, well, let's just do this. Anyone who has engaged with any post or ad. So I'm going to call this my warm 30, engaged with Facebook post or ad. Okay, and then we're gonna create that audience. So I'm telling Facebook, create me an audience right now um, based around actually all the people that have engaged with my page, post, or ad. And this is gonna be the audience that I'm gonna target. Now you can put multiple different audiences in here. It doesn't have to just be this one. You can do your Insta people that have engaged with your Instagram the last 30 days. But what we're looking for here is a warm, audience or a hot, hot audience, okay? People who know who you are. This is really the best way for these reach ads to work. Then from there, you can choose your location, the age range, the gender. I always skip over the language. We're not gonna worry about detailed targeting because we already have an audience up here that we are targeting. Um, we're gonna come in here and you can choose automatic placements or you can do edit placements. This is basically just telling Facebook where you wanna show this ad. And then from here, here is where we were talking about that frequency cap. So you make sure your objective is set for reach and then the frequency cap, all right? So this is gonna keep people from seeing your ad too often because the objective is this ad is to reach as many people in this audience as we can. Very different than the conversion ad when you're optimizing for an event or a traffic ad where you're optimizing for landing page views. So we're gonna, the, basically what we're doing here is we are keeping people from seeing your ad too often so we need to enter the number minimum number of days that should pass before someone sees your ad again. So I'm gonna say one impression every three days, all right? So now whoever I target is gonna see my ad once every three days. Maybe I want them to see it every day, so I'll do one impression every day, all right? So um, this is something that you just kinda have to play with and decide what works best for you. Um, you can also set a bid cap here. So um, if you care about the cost efficiency, um, you know, the lowest cost bid strategy is best. I would not actually check this box here, leave that alone. And then from there, you're just gonna go over on the left here and go to your ad, and this is where you set up your creative. So you'll just go through here. This is like any other ad that you're creating. Um, you'll come in here, if you're doing Instagram placement, you'll wanna make sure that you choose your Instagram page and then come through here and um, you'll add the text, you'll add the website URL. Um, if you've got a pixel installed, you'll wanna add your pixel code or make sure that's all turned on. And then all you have to do is publish. So that's how to do a reach ad. Again, it's really great for those of you that are using custom audiences and you are targeting warm audiences that are familiar with you, meaning they're already starting to get to know you, like you, trust you, because with this type of ad, you're gonna reach um, all of those people within that audience that you've created. Again, very different from the other types of ads. So I hope you got a lot of value in this. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll put that link below this video. But if you're seeing this video on Facebook, make sure that you're liking um, our Facebook page and I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.